All right. So, uh, repository blitz. Right. Here we go. Uh, is Ooh. it timed? Indiana Jones' worst nightmare. I... So you have a time limit. Yeah. There's a key, and I've... there's switches somewhere? Well, yeah. Have, are you sure you haven't missed any back there? Don't see any. Okay. Doesn't mean I haven't missed any, but I'm not- I'm just wondering if there's anything hiding in the uh, wires to the left or the right. I'm not sure. I'm sure probably. I just also probably don't care that much. We'll see what the rewards are. Okay. But I'm mostly- Ooh, these ones are tilted. Yep. I'm mostly just doing these dungeons because I can. And I'm curious. Okay, let's see. Do we have... Yep. Oh, hiding under one of the uh, yep, platforms. Yep, there's another yeah. one up ahead, too. I think I got that one. Ooh, they bounce off. Yeah, well, go figure. You're not supposed to be able to shoot these. I can't imagine. That would be pretty dang convenient if they you could. They have some kind of electrical field surrounding them. Yeah. Why, I don't know. But So they that do. they're even more potent against whatever they're going to crush? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my eye out for the, uh... The yellow key. Yep. But that's the only thing I'm gonna look for, I think. Oh, there's two balls here. Oh, and there's a health. Uh-huh. Yep. Whoa. There's a health. Okay. Looking around, I'm actually doing pretty well, all things considered. Yeah, if I can find all all four switches, that'd be great. If I can't, I'm not going to be super disappointed. I think... There's a field in the way. Yeah, that must be the key there, though. Oh. <sighs> oh, I made it. Whoa, didn't but make you it. didn't make that one. That's okay. Where's it going to put you? Um. Right before it? Yeah, not too bad. Oh, except you went right between them. Oh, that was uncomfortable. Yeah, I thought I thought it was gonna be okay. I wasn't okay, and whatever. Yeah, what I'm. Oh, what? Oh, weird. Yeah, I, I tried gunning for it and it didn't work. Okay. So we've got this field here. There we go. Okay, can I can I oh, hit the key? You have to go on that platform now. Oh, spider time. Yep. Glad I brought oh. Seth. Woohoo. Okay, so we've got we've got the 20... key. Uh, nah. Jump on. Oh, okay. Oh. Seth got hit. Yep. Just got to figure out how to oh, get around here. Oh, there's another um switch around the corner by the way. So I see. Got it. Okay. I'm just also not sure what the hell I'm supposed to do here. Oh, oh. do those shields turn on and off? No, no they don't. No, they don't. But I know what to do. You have to jump across the corner. Yep. Oh, hoo. I got this. That's intense. What? Yeah, I have to make a break for it. Gun for it, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. We got the switch there. We've got There's five out of eight. There's still another pathway. Wow. Okay, we've got at least one switch here. Oh, it's dropping shit now. Oh, ah, hey. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, one more switch. Hopefully I get it. I got to imagine there's got to be one more here. <laughs> oh, poor Seth. Seth. Oh, wow. Yeah, that one dropped right near you. Ploop. That one was a fast one, too. And you already got that. Yep. Okay. Good. Safe spot. Safe spot. Uh, I still don't see the last switch. Okay. It might be beyond that ring. Uh, we already got that one. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Getting this surprisingly well. <laughs> I kind of was expecting more failure. 
honestly. Okay, so there's two. You have to go over that center one then. Yep. Okay. Uh. That. Mm, is it gonna be? This is rough. What? Whoa! It. Oh, it kept you on the platform with the ball. Yeah. Not. Not the checkpoint platform. Oddly enough. Oh wait. It set you back even further. No, it sent me back to the previous checkpoint. I gotcha. Well, let's get on this. Yeah, if they come out the middle, then why even deal with the middle? Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so I guess this checkpoint just didn't take? It's odd. Unless it's not really a checkpoint. They're now supposed to be. They've always been. Okay, mm. so let's take a look at this. We've got... I'm actually not sure how I'm supposed to do this. I well, I guess you need to do dash, that. jump, jump, dash. Right, right. <laughs> Just chickened out a little bit. Well, no. That's all right. Testing how high you can get. No, uh, see how there's that ring? I have to time it so I go through the ring. So you're not even supposed to land on the platform? I thought for sure. Oh, you might be right there. Yeah, you're right. You land on the platform okay. first, but that ball is incredibly fast. Actually, and then you jump. Oh, uh, did you miss that last? Push? I I I jumped and then dashed. You can't do that. Okay. Oh oh, I know why. I know why it sends me back here. Because you die the instant. Because it it spawn it in. shits. Yeah, it shits me back right before the checkpoint. Right the ball here, is. and this ball. Bumps me, and so it's like, oh, her dear. You I guess we'll go back to the previous checkpoint. Yep. Oh, you got it. Yep, I got it. Unfortunately, no checkpoint, but that's okay. Because we got it. Unfortunately, yeah, back. don't see the there, last. Are, oh. You shouldn't have gone through. I didn't realize. I was just trying to get to the end. Well, we got the yellow key. Right, but yeah, we you literally missed, the, missed one. the last one. Look, look back, look back. I just want to see. Uh, it's right there. If you had just waited. What the fuck? I wanted you to wait. Shell. It was a difference of a couple inches. But. And they did that on dickish. No, no, you knew it would Shell? be there. You knew I'm fairly certain, but you try playing this game. Like, it's hard doing these platforms. No, don't I, I have to concede to the fact that it, this is very difficult. Don't slap I, my shoulder because I didn't, I, I didn't slap pull it shoulder. off perfectly. No, I, I wanted you to stop on the platform before the end because I knew it would lock you off. And I'm like, it, the last one's probably there. I was hoping it'd be one of those where I could turn around and shoot it or something. No, as soon as you trigger the end, that though. That is so douchey, because now I have to redo the entire thing if I do want that. Luckily, it's just a box, and I really could care less about blueprints by this point. We've already kind of determined that they're useless. But what about the useless. other key? Or... No. Or, uh, or. If we go back up, they're, they're nothing but... Um, it's just nothing but uh, blueprint boxes. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Okay. That's so no. That's another core. The time That's, would have been a core. Time is a core. That one would be a box, and then everything would be a box. But like, honestly, we have twenty cores, and we only need twenty-five to access everything in the entire game. Really? From what I've seen, yeah. Mm, that can't be. There has to be more. Well, I'm sure there's like benefits for getting beyond that, but uh, from all of the dungeons I've seen, we only need that many. In fact, I think we only needed 12 or 15, and we have wildly bypassed that point. Which is odd, because I would think that you're supposed to do the side quest just so that you could get enough to proceed, but... I mean, maybe there's even more endgame, endgame dungeons, or maybe it opens up certain things you do you normally don't get access to I mean or... maybe it opens up a new ending maybe if you don't collect all the cores when they're like yeah we can free the people's souls they'll be like well what happened to these other prisms and you go sorry I didn't collect them and then they go oh but there were hundreds of people inside them what do you think 
if that turns out to be the case, then we're going to go watch the ending on YouTube. And be glad that this isn't real life, because fuck that. Wait, what? I thought you said that you would actually want to try to save all the people. I'm not going to shackle myself to a bad game for hours and hours oh, and hours. Oh, wait, when did you start saying this was bad? No, but if you had to get the good ending by 100%ing a collectathon with time trials. I mean, I'm only saying it because there are voices inside. Yeah, we'll I see. mean, I'm not saying... We'll see how the ending goes. I mean, what if her father happens to be in the last one? Whichever and arbitrary And I guess daddy stays is. locked away forever, because I'm not doing that. Ooh. I, I really do think, though, that those prismatic cores are actually people. Probably. Hey, we finally get this. Yep. Took a while to get up here. This ought to be good. Okay. Let's see. How many cores to beat the game? That's the question. And we get a head for Seth. Can we get items down here? Let's see. So, the answer is... Okay, 45 to beat the game. You also need 75 to enter one of the bonus dungeons. Based on the percentage of the achievement counter appears, there are 80 cores. Well, uh, we'll see. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot uh, to get this prismatic well, core. Thank goodness we have to no one's uh, revealing plot points, because. Yeah. Yeah, like if I have to, I'll come back for some of these, but my bet is. It's not going to force me to do time trials. We've got a lot of other dungeons, like, oh, Tyrant's Forge is the one that requires 75. Ooh. Yeah. But, like, we could do Proving Ground, which has three in it. Uh, we've already got all from Crucible. Uh, Cavern Rush had one objective. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, there's a ton of prismatic Cavern cores. Rush, I think we didn't do time. Uh, maybe. And a Core Foundry we didn't finish. House of Steel... You need to be level 25 for that, uh, Yeah, though. a little bit more. But, like, we can probably do fine. Can I... I can't warp here. Okay, let's just return to the crawler. And let's go do plot stuff. Because it's been a while since we've done, we've done plot stuff. The other, the other thing is, after a certain point, with any series like this, it's, like, kind of not worth it for me to film the side content. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's, like... Every YouTube series has kind of a a half-life and the longer you you go between like the start when the game comes out and the eventual finale the less views you get up until the finale which gets like a little bit of a boost which is I'm, kind of i'm trying to think of other games in which you receive subpar endings if you didn't do enough with the Metroid series, or at least the Primes, it wasn't the case. You just didn't see the extra scene of the villain surviving or Samus's face. Yeah, I can live with that. But I know that with Mist, if you miss some things in uh, Riven, uh, you actually condemned an entire world to death and destruction. But that that comes down to just a choice or two. No, no, no. Uh, you could have accidentally bypassed freeing someone and continued on with the plot as normal. And then, whoops, you didn't free someone before uh, setting the world uh, into motion. Looks like everyone is going to perish because this woman would have gone to her people and told them to escape. And then Atris just starts he's just shocked because you forgot to save his wife which is most of the reason why he sent you there to capture his father and to free his wife but in any case yeah sorry for the spoilers but that's one of the bad endings nice. of Riven the best ending is if you do everything but regardless to finish the game you have to capture his father or his father kills you. That, that's another ending. Or you get trapped in the book that you're supposed to trap him in. 
Those are massive legs. Beefy, yeah. It actually almost makes them look like a tarantula. Look at those little uh, fronds on the back. Yep. You know, let's... You haven't been able to find anything for ape? Uh, I do, but well, not until level 20. It's I actually see. going to be a bit of a negative, but I'm actually going to give him the... Uh, uh, oh, the white Mass head. Effect series. In the Mass Effect series, if you didn't get certain peoples on your side or uh, objectives done, didn't some of your team members die? That's and... mostly Mass Effect 2. No, 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 but in Mass Effect 3, if you didn't do certain things, like Tali would kill herself and... True. Uh, Though a lot of them were generally pretty obvious. For for Mass Effect 3, the answer was, hey, by the way, you can go fight the uh, Reapers whenever you want, but we really wouldn't recommend it up until X point. And they just give you a number and you're like, okay. And then you just keep playing the game up until X point. Yeah, but if you didn't help certain peoples wasn't it possible for an entire species to be left out of the fight or yeah. an entire flotilla to be destroyed because they well, didn't yeah, have backup could, you could totally just ignore lots of I things if you wanted to, to and it ended up actually being kind of a chore you were asleep for half of that playthrough yeah and we didn't even record it <laughs> yeah well you didn't want to you were sick I that was, was kind of during the point where you were, like, super not okay with Let's Playing anyway. Well, what had happened was we used to play games together. You got camera shy. Well, somewhat. I didn't like the fact that it was. It seemed like we had to perform all the time. We yeah. didn't really have the same genuine conversations that we did. Are we not having a genuine conversation right this very moment? We are... Gonna crank you up a little bit. You are definitely not hitting the waveforms as much. I well, think part. Of, I don't. I'm not yeah. as bombastic. It's true. Well, I've all like again. I've also had a lot more practice. You know, projecting for. Years hey, now. hey, hey! I took chorus. You're all a singer, yes. My, well, so the thing is, I know what your inside voice is supposed to be. <laughs> My recording voice is not my inside voice. I know. At our old apartment, we had people banging on our floor, okay, their ceiling. Okay, to be fair, that place was made out of paper. It was made out of paper. We really could hear the guy shitty. snoring below us. Yeah, we... I it vibrated my the bed. pointed it at the ground, and we could actually see... Well, we could record sort of like a... Yeah. <sighs> it was, you could see the waveforms. It was not pleasant. That and their child was screaming incessantly and looked to be old enough to be in kindergarten. Yeah, this kid screamed like a baby. All right, not not go. worse than a baby. It was like angry, yeah. savage, I don't want to do what you're telling me to scream. Yeah, usually babies shut up after a while. This kid wouldn't. He'd just keep going. But he wasn't a baby. Yeah. He uh. was an autonomous child. Could bike. Might have actually been older than kindergarten in that case. I didn't I didn't learn how to bike until like I first, don't know. second grade. All I know is that our former roommate said that when she moved to a single bedroom apartment and other people had moved into our old one, two of the tenants had come up to her and they're like, we heard you used to live up there. Did you just hear them, the people below you all the time? And she goes, yep. And then even the office at one point was like, hey, you lived above these people. We've been getting a lot of complaints about them. Did you ever have an issue with them? Yeah. We probably sent the office at least three or four emails when we were there regarding the noise, yep. regarding the they don't care. pollution. There was a lot of smoke and stuff. Uh, I'm glad that are we, can where we are okay, is currently smoke-free, at least What's on the interiors. Fire? We had to wait for her to wipe off her pants or something. <laughs> I mean, she is standing in what's... Stagnant water, oil? No. Whoa! I'll shut you down. So, uh, foggers. Well, it looks like whatever it was, it was sort of sapping off this nuclear waste. Noxious sewer gas. I don't know precisely what it is, but it's, distrib it's vaporizing it and distributing it into the air so as to create a noxious poison. Essentially. Am I getting... Oh, I'm getting bopped by the black spires. You know, I wonder if this is going to be the dungeon where we figure out what the black spires are. 
Well, these black spires seem to be feeding off whatever this waste is. They're, they have a green glow to them. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, hello. Now, is this the new dungeon? There's the exit. How are we supposed to get up there? It's way too high. Oh. Maybe there's something in this facility that will help. Yeah, so we, we find, get We get we the another robot here. I think we get the other Whoa. robot. But first we fight. From a range? No. Or he comes to us. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't he? That actually works really well. Okay, back to chart shots. Gonna extract? Nah, not gonna bother. I want parts, not cores. Uh, well, you got an ape motor. Yep. Uh, Whoa, those bats? Yeah, they're bats. They even have bat wings. Bats! Na 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 bat bots, bat bots. Well, I guess we might as well go down here. I mean, it's it's leaving a uh, a trail of bread boxes. And Fred, oh wait. Oh, I see. That's one of the. I get you. These are these are trap bots. They're not actually like the fighty kind. You just gotta extract them first. Oop. Now, did they say if Kai and her were the only ones to have awakened, or if there were others? Interesting question. Don't know. Because we know that we know that Duncan's Duncan's partner was killed while he was still in his stasis pod. Presumably, yeah. Okay, I already have to check the map, seeing as we've already found a treasure node. Oh, is that? No, this looked like one of the, um... There's a lot of loot core. around the left, too. Yeah. There's an orb. A blue one. Oh. Oh. That? That's just a light. Oh, it really is? Yeah. Aww. Yeah. I thought it was loot. Nope. I got the loot, loot sense. Activate. That ain't loot. You have to yeah. smash it. Well, I don't have to. Look at my weak, girly arms. <laughs> hey. Look. Look at, I, I don't have big old gorilla robot arms. An incinerator. And lasers. <laughs> this is like one of those situations where you're just like. This is a death chamber. Uh. Oh, hey, so there's some shielding that's holding it at bay. Sorta. Oh, we got the plug bot. Yep. Like, this reminds me of, like, you have the, like, pit of sharks, or the, uh, the water <laughs> thing of sharks, the flamethrowers, auto turret guns, a laser wall. Like, it always, uh, whenever I see, like, just all of these traps layered on top oh, of each so other Oh, so it whatever, lifted the lasers. Huh. Yep, but I can't, you know, jump too high for fear of death. But, but... Oh, ouch. Ouch! Yeah, so you're, you're just being I, bopped back and yeah, forth it's, between the... It's because... And then um, you died in the muck. Yeah, it's because the spikes have a larger hitbox than the, than they look. And so what they do is they just kind of stun you. Wait, that's mine. What? How do you get over there? He leapt ahead. He was, no, but he was directly next to me. Well, go and then he's just over there. What? But yeah, the uh, the black spikes have like a, a larger hitbox. Right. And so what ends up happening is um. Uh, you bump into them and they're like. And well, and then you're ricocheting off the ooze as yeah. they come up too. It's just very poor timing. Ah. I kind of qualify a lot of this as like just. Bad design. Well, not mm -hmm. bad design. Um, bad testing. Like it feels like a lot of this this game was built with like good ideas in mind, but they didn't play test it enough. Okay, so where will the next spot be? Over there. Is that that easy? Yeah, it's probably just getting to the next console. That's hard. Nope. <laughs> I guess it's kind of by this point. 
you already have the mastery of the basic system here. So they're not going to abuse. Ooh, I like this music. Uh-huh. Why can't they play this music more often? Or something. You have to be rewarded. Also, it, that was like a for your efforts. 15 second clip. I'd love to see this original soundtrack for this a game. Bench. That might come in handy. Data, 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 data. Oh, yeah. Jumpy jump. Like I said, you can't have a core bot without a frame. And the scientist who invented the frame is, of course, your mission leader and chief scientist, Dr. Julius Roldan. Did I ever tell you how he and I met? It was the first mandate conference for all the research groups around the world working on the Dust Devil crisis. There were hundreds of people there, and Julius just happened to sit next to me. He told me he liked my Robbie the Robot t-shirt. And then he cracked a crazy joke about robotics researchers and their armies of killer robots. He was outspoken, ambitious, the exact opposite of me. I felt like a geek hanging out with a rock star. But ever since that day, Julius was more than my colleague. He was my friend.